Hi, my name is Nejdet. I'm the founder of Planet Tech Wastewater Treatment Company. And uh, today we are in one of the housing complexes that we finished the wastewater treatment. And um, what you see around is a beautiful playground, a swimming pool, and here is a pirate ship, actually. And I would like to give you some information about the wastewater treatment, the Planet Disc unit of this housing complex. Now, the most important thing about this place is uh, their children, their people, and the wastewater treatment plant is right nearby all this natural area. Now, we'll go to that place, our Planet Disc area, and I would like to tell you more about it. Please follow me. Right now we are in the plant and what you see is the Planet Disc RBC unit, Rotating Biological Contactor unit. Now the wastewater enters in the RBC unit after it goes through a coarse screen, a fine screen and then a grease and grit trap. And after that, you'll see it in detail, it does go into a sedimentation tank and then a buffer tank and then it goes into the RBC tank, which is the reactor. Now, it is important, I'm not going to get too scientific, but it is important that the wastewater does go through a sedimentation tank because what we need is the soluble BOD. Not everything, but the soluble BOD. Now, after it enters, what you see is a pack of disks. There are 100 disks there, and it's rotating at approximately 3 RPM. And the bacteria sticks to the surface of those disks which are HDPB, high density polypropylene disc, which is about it's got about 50 years lifetime, and it does need the oxygen. Now, in a classical system, a typical wastewater treatment unit, which is about 250 to 350 people, depending on what you want in and out, you need approximately four to five and a half kilowatts of blower, power of blower. Here, what you see is, please follow me, this small electrical motor, that small electrical